Hello everyone, welcome to our English lesson. I'm English teacher Kantaya. Hello everybody, English teacher Kingston. Now we're gonna talk about 12 tenses in English. Past, present and future. Let's see present simple tense, form, affirmative, negative and interrogative. <coughs> Let's read usage and example. General truth. The sun rises in the east. Habits. I play badminton every Tuesday. Future timetables. Our train leaves at 9 a.m. Future after, when, and until. I won't go out until it stops raining. Permanent situations. He works in a bank. For newspaper headlines. Man enters space. With non-progressive. I believe that you are innocent. When telling stories. Suddenly, the window opens and the masked man enters. For giving directions and instructions. First of all, you break the eggs and whisk with sugar. Time expressions. This evening, at 11 a.m., when, until, as soon as, twice a month, every Tuesday, and sometimes. Present continuous. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Let's read usage, example, and time expressions. Action happening now. Jim is watching television at the moment. Now, at the moment, currently. Temporary situations. I am staying with a friend for a few days. At the moment, these days, for a few days. Annoying habits. That child is always crying for no good reason. Always, forever, constantly. Changing situations. Her health is improving by leaps and bounds. <laughs> little by little, gradually. Definite future plans. I am taking my French class on Tuesday. Tonight, later, and this weekend. Present for work teams. Form. Affirmative. Negative. Interrogative. Usage. Example. Adverb. Things you have done in your life. I have been to England. Number of times. You have done something. I have been to Paris three times. Recently completed actions which are important now. I have already lost my job. Stations that started in the past and are still true. I have no James for four or five years. Present result. John has just missed this bus, so he will be late. Unfinished actions or stations. I, ha I have lived here since 2004. I just already eat her since never ever. Present perfect continuous, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Usage. Long actions that started in the past and continue until now. I have been living in Ireland for almost four years. Recent actions that have clear evidence or results now. Her eyes are red 
because she has been crying all evening. Typically used for shorter, more temporary situations. Have they been learning English this week? Past simple tense, firm, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Users, example, time expressions, completed action in the past. I saw a ghost last Friday. A series of completed actions in the past. I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. Habits in the past. When I was young, I watched lots of television after school every day. With non progressive. He had a small catch in the boots. Action in the past stories. She sat down and ordered uh, a coffee. Time expressions yesterday, ago, last month, last week, last year, in 2003. Past continuous. Affirmative, negative, Interrogative. Let's read usage and example. Interrupted action in the past. They were waiting for the train when I spoke to them. Parallel actions. I was studying when my mother was watching TV. Story background. While I was driving to work yesterday. Past habit. I was always cooking when I got home from school. Specific time as an interruption. Last night at 6 p.m. I was eating dinner. Emphasis of length of action. I was working in the garden all day. Arrangement in the past. I was upset because I was living there that morning. A series of parallel actions. When I came to school, the school was singing, the school bell was ringing. Many students were running towards the garden. Teachers were going out from classrooms. Time expressions. When, while, constantly, at that time, in those days, all morning, for hours, and always. <clears throat> Past four work tense, firm, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Usage, example, time experiences. Action finished before another fast action. John had gone out when he, when his wife arrived in the office. Action happened before a specific time in the past. Julia had never been to an affair before last night. Action started in the past and continued up to a given time in the past. We had owned that car for 10 years before it broke down. Cause and effect combined with past simple. I, I got I got stuck in traffic because there had been an accident. President roasted of an activity in the past. I had been to London twice to by the time I go I got a job in New York. Time expression already it far since just after before, until. Past perfect continues. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Usage. Express a past action that already started and continued up to another action or time in the past. The boys had been playing soccer for about an hour when it started to rain. Emphasize the duration of an activity in the past. 
Richard needed a holiday because he had been working hard for six months. Express the cause of something in the past. He was tired because he he had been jogging. Put your simple things for affirmative, negative, interrogative. Usage example time experiences for excited at the moment of speech. I have told I will take medicine. For unplanned future action, winter will come soon. With conditional time and proposed classes, when I read it, home I will call you. For unpredictable action and future, summer will come soon. For burning or dining, training, I'm afraid we will get wet. For trips, predictional, sensational experiences, first about future. I promise I will not tell anyone your secret. Tomorrow, soon, later, next week, in two weeks, month, next year, later, the day after tomorrow. Future continuous tense. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Let's read usage and example. Interrupted actions in the future. When you come tomorrow, they will be playing tennis. Actions in progress at a specific time in the future. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, we will be having lunch at school. Parallel actions are a series of parallel actions in the future. He will be watching TV and she will be cooking dinner. To ask a question politely about the future. Will you be bringing your friend to the party tonight? Emphasis on future plans and intentions. He will be coming to visit us next week. Atmosphere in the future. When I arrive at the party, everybody will be celebrating, some will be dancing, others will be talking. Refer to actions that are happening to now, happening now, and expected to continue sometime in the future, combined with still. Time expressions. Next week at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Next time, in the future, at this time next Friday, next year, at this time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.